Hello, YouTube. I've been asked, can this interface board be modified to work with a mobile uh, 45 to 50 watt GMRS two-way radio repeater? And to answer your question, it may be possible on certain models. Now, let me explain here. You're probably thinking, well, why would I want to hook up an interface board to a mobile radio for? Why would I want to do that? Well, let me tell you a good reason. Let's say you have a repeater that's just outside your area, and you can't really hit it with a handheld, but you, you can hit it with a mobile radio. Well, if you could take that mobile radio, hook it up to a power supply in your house, put an external antenna on, now you got 50 watts of power to hit that repeater and get that repeater online. What I mean by that is not all repeaters have the capabilities of going online. Uh, some of them are there's no internet access at the location or maybe the repeater itself does not have any ports coming out of it so it could be hooked up to online there's you know many reasons why you may not be able uh, to get that particular repeater online but doing it with a mobile 50 watt radio would answer your would answer your your question there as if you program the radio to the repeater frequencies now you can get that repeater online with Zello you can get it online with um, date and time and weather announcements. You could do your repeater ID. And for that matter, if you really want to get technical, you could take that mobile radio, put it in simplex mode, and have a simplex repeater and use that to help test your repeater like how I do when I do my videos. Uh, if, you don't, if you're unfamiliar with simplex, it records all voice activity and plays it through the repeater. So you can easily config that one radio to be a simplex repeater. And the other beauty of this also is, remember, if you want, if you got bubble wrap radios and you want to get those online, you could program that mobile radio to one frequency. Now you can have it and have it, you know, obviously an, an outside antenna. And now you can get that uh, all those bubble wrap Walmart radios could be online uh, within that mobile radio. Uh, remember, the Walmart radios cannot do split frequency, but you can program that mobile to do one frequency for receive and transmit. So now you can get them online. There's a, many, I can keep going on and on, a lot of advantages why you might want to get a mobile radio online. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to make up a cable because this is not going to plug into the radio. So that's one thing. I, I got parts coming. Like I said, I got a radio. I got a TYT9000D radio on its way. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what models, if I can modify this, what models would this work with? Well, let me show you some of the models. Obviously, the one model is the TYT9000D or, I believe... The Redivis RT9000D is the same model. I have not verified this, but I believe it is. Or the Elenco DR4038. Uh, this one has a T at the end of it. This particular uh, website, uh, I guess they're the T model's commercial or something. But nevertheless, you get the point that you can run this radio and many other radios, even if you don't even... If you're a ham operator, the DR138 model, which is the VH mo model, would be the same radio, just different frequency. So those are the three radios that you could use, hopefully, with this interface board once I hopefully get up and running. Now, there's one thing i got to point out right away that's kind of confusing. This model, the Elenco, I think I'm saying it right, does come with the DB9 adapter on the back of the radio. These other two radios do not. The Redivis RT9000D or the TYT9000D does not come with the DB9 on the radio. You have to purchase, let me call it up, you have to purchase what they call repeater cables. They plug right in. It's not hard to do it. You pull the cover off. You plug these into 
the radio. You, you mount the uh, DB9 in the back of the radio. There's an opening for it. You mount it back there. Um, and voila, now you have a DB9 on the radio. Now, I'm going to see if I could sell these um, on the website. Uh, hopefully, a keyword, and I'm not going to promise nothing, hopefully cheaper. We, 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 we shall see. I, like I said, I'm not going to promise anything. Um, but that's what you need to do on those two radios to have a DB9. Without this, then you cannot plug in any interface board because there's no DB9 on the uh, radio. This would not work. Okay? So, you got to plug that in. And like I said, I got to see what modifications uh, have to be done for this to work. I do, like I said, I do have a radio coming. It does have the DB9 adapter already on it. So that's good news. So now I just got to wait. Hopefully it will be here in about a week. Um, however, we got holidays coming up. Uh, so I'm hoping to get to it as soon as possible. Maybe it'll come in a little sooner and I can figure out what is needed to get this thing to work. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, and I did start on the forum a category for this interface board and if everything goes to plan as i hopefully i will update that as i start to do this as i test it um do all sorts of things with it you'll start to see it be updated now right now at the time making this video my interface boards i don't have any in stock i am in the process of getting parts sent here actually they're they've been shipped uh, just a matter of getting them. That might be a little while um, to get some of these parts, but as hopefully as soon as I get them in, I will uh, have those back in stock as soon as possible. So there you have it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day.